back here with another unboxing video, man. And yesterday, well, a couple days ago, I went ahead and purchased the Acer Predator XB1. Is that the right name? That's right. <laughs> yeah, XB1. Goes for around $600, if I'm correct, but I think it got on sale for $500. There's another one that's a hundred. This is a 1440p monitor, 2540 by 1440. 2560, I'm sorry. 2560 by 1440. Monster, 144 refresh rate, 144 hertz. This is probably one of the best 1440p, 144 hertz monitors on the market. Like I mentioned earlier, I think that's one for $50 more. It's an Asus. But I've been I've been eyeballing this monitor for about ever since I started getting into PC gaming and stuff like that for about four three four years now. So this is probably one of the monitors I've been wanting for a long time. And you know it is pretty old when I start unboxing it. So it's, it has Nvidia G Sync. This is 27 inches. A lot of monitors that I have, or a lot of monitors, the monitors on the market, have FreeSync, which is compatible with AMD's graphics cards stuff like that. So if you have Nvidia G Sync. And deal with your graphics cards, RTX, NVIDIA GTX 1060 or whatever. And this is going to be overclocked to 165 hertz, but it is 144 already overclocked. None of my stuff on my computer or anything like that. So I want to get started here and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to need a knife this time. This is the stuff that usually fucks me and shit like this. Oh shit. <laughs> So, I'm supposed to be using this, this is why I got it to that. Man, slide that is. Got a little roll back. Put that box right here. You got the stand. I'm a screwdriver right here, I think. You got a stand. It's also tiltable, you can rotate it if you want. Uh, get that out the way. Oh shit! <laughs> you gonna monitor itself? All right. So obviously we got our what is this power uh power connector? Got that one. We got our display port. Uh, I might actually do display port this time because all the ones been using HDMI 2.0 to get 144 hertz, but I might just use so come with the display port. Power connector should come to come to the HDMI cord too. Usually when you buy some of these monitors, they don't come with a lot of this stuff. And this is also, this div. Oh, this, this is the display port. I'm assuming this is the, the what is this? It can't be div. Is it div? I don't know. It's one of those. Put a manual. But you do get a lot of stuff with it. And this looks like the stand here. Yeah, this is a nice little stand. I like the whole red theme. So, yeah. okay, okay, I know. This is just like the other one I think I had. So give me a moment to install it. I'm going to put it on my PC. I'm going to replace it now. I don't know if you guys can actually see that one. Um, all my monitors are 27, 27. This one's 24. This one's 27, so it's going to fit perfectly in my build. Okay, so I just got done uh, assembling it. It was actually pretty easy. All you simply do is, you know, when these two come in, all you got to do is just attach to that. Had this pointing part up, screw it in, and you just light the two up. Right there, bam, bam, and that's it. Now, something I didn't talk about was the port selection. This also was one of the main reasons why I actually brought these, man. These has four USB ports. My other one has two, so it's basically easier for me to plug stuff up and charge my phone. Or whatever, HDMI display port, USB, USB. I, think, I, I, I don't know what that is. I looked it up. While I was in the bathroom, your power, uh, your power cable that goes in there, on and on switch. Um, more USB ports on the side, which is right here. I don't know if you got, sorry, right there. Got it right here. Um, I don't know. There's no headphone jack, no audio jack or nothing like that. As you guys can tell, it tilts up and down, sideways like that. So it also depends on what you guys gonna do with it. I'm gonna go ahead and install it right now, and then I'm gonna go through some of the game modes for you guys. Okay, you guys, we are actually got it set up. I know I'm kind of zoomed in right now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom right back out because uh, this monitor is nice. Um, 27 inches, this thing is huge. Like I said, you can obviously adjust it the way you want. You can push it down, push it up. I'm going to have mine just about even with them. I didn't need to replace this particular monitor so I can... Um, Possibly another 4K one or another 1440p, but I'll probably get another 4K one. Um, 8K is coming pretty soon, so be on a lookout for that. But <clears throat> without further ado, 
we are going to be talking about the modes, the switches, everything right here. So I'm going to go from left to right. So uh, I probably got that all pushed up right there. So I hope you guys can see it properly. Um, right here, we have game mode, which is you guys can tell, you guys can see it right there. But when you put on game mode, it shows your FPS and stuff like that. Your frame rate, so that's also pretty cool. i never actually seen that in any of these monitors that uh, actually shows the frame rate just based off the monitor, the ones that I have owned. Um, I would switch from one to two and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to get out of this game mode off. Um, uh, you got a volume, you got built in speakers, which is actually pretty cool. I've never seen you guys before, but I went ahead and brought external speakers from Amazon for like $10, I believe, because uh, I don't like. Uh, uh, monitor speakers are not that good at all, but I do have a headset, so um, you got your display port, HDMI port. You only have two ports, no DVA, no no VGI or DVI, if I'm correct. Those are the two. It's on display port, one HDMI. It doesn't have two, so which kind of sucks about that. But I understand that your um, also you got your pictures and stuff like that. Um, your brightness, contrast, blue light, uh, dark boost. Um, obviously I might enable that when I'm in the dark and stuff like that. Uh, please guys take care of your eyes and stuff like that uh, we have the color the gamma color temperature RGB mode which is something I want to see right now uh, RGB let's turn it on and go back so I'm gonna turn the RGB mode on uh, six axis colors saturate um, <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and go back oh. uh, I'm going all the way down um, your refresh rate number, um, I might have to enable that now. Obviously, English, uh, common sense, aim point. You play an FPS game, obviously, you got built in settings mode, game mode, um, transparency, refresh rate. Go ahead and enable that right now. So it's uh, constantly staying. Oh, that'll be kind of annoying. I only do that when I'm playing games. Uh, let's go back, let's go all the way down. Uh, uh, more settings, you got your input, display port, obviously, the stuff like that, wide mode. Overclock, if you want to overclock, especially when playing games, but I don't feel like I need to do that. Your information, 25 of uh, 60 by 1440p, input display port. When I try to do HDMI, it wouldn't register. I don't know why, for some reason for me. Um, obviously, 60 hertz, even though it shouldn't be like that. Uh, let me get that off. Uh, let's turn it on. Okay, there we go. Let's go down. And that's honestly really it, man. So this actually is a good monitor for $500 if you guys can. Wait a little bit longer. Obviously, a lot of these monitors are going to go down in price, but they said that a couple years ago, and they're the exact same price. All right, what's going on, people? Man, I decided to actually give you guys gameplay of the 1440p 144Hz. I went ahead and overclocked it up to 165Hz. You can do that in the options. I was able to uh, get the display to 144Hz. You had to go to your NVIDIA control panel and enable it. I will have a video above you guys right now if you guys want to check it out. That's one of my most watched views of video on the channel. So, without further ado, man, my impressions of this monitor is freaking amazing. I believe it's worth every single penny. Um, I had to enable it. Like I said, if your PC or laptop is capable of going up to 144 hertz, is it capable of doing 1440p? Then yes, go ahead and go ahead and invest in this particular monitor. I went ahead and did it. I tried Ballistic Overkill. I was going to do Fortnite or PUBG or Rainbow Six Siege, but that was going to take a long, long time. So I went ahead and did Ballistic Overkill. It was already up to date. And I was getting above, um, I think, up to 180 frames per second. So, I believe it's actually pretty cool. Sorry about the bad angle. I just didn't feel like putting it back up on my tripod. But this is probably one of the best monitors I have owned. I have owned up to six. I have owned, a obviously, a 144Hz panel. When 1080p, you can obviously do 1080p. It will look good because of the upscaling. Because you have 1440p monitors, so the graphics will look even better. If you played on this one, because it's a 1080p. It was good on a 1440p monitor. So, my final thoughts: invest in this monitor. I paid hundred dollars a month, five months. It's completely worth it. So, hope you guys have a blessed day. Please subscribe if you're new. Share the channel. Share the video. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See you later. I'm out. Peace.